Hi everyone, in my previous video I have designed 2.4 GHz patch antenna and in this video I will show you how I calculated the width and the height of my antenna, the width of my micro strip line and dimensions of my inset fit. Uh, most of you know the pasternak.com site, there are a lot of useful calculators used by RF design engineers and I have used micro strip patch antenna calculators. There are also some sites uh, using the same formula. Uh, they give the same uh, result. Uh, first of all, we use our dielectric constant, our dielectric I and operation fre frequency and click calculate. This site calculates the widths and the lengths of our antenna. And we uh, write them in our design here uh, for antenna width and high uh, we have the calculated the results for our antenna uh, it showed of 39 and 30.9 here and we can see that if we use these uh, parameters we can see that our antenna almost works on 2.4 GHz. It needs some calibration. So in our home home area, we choose parameter sweep. And in here, parameter sweep, we can add new parameter and uh, we can change the parameters that we defined uh, in our previous video. Uh, I said that it will be useful for you to uh, set parameters for antenna uh, dimensions because uh, later on in your project you can easily change your parameters and see the effect of this parameter on your design. For example, if we uh, click on the antenna uh, X uh, which is the width of an, our antenna and choose the range from 35 to 45 and click on step width and choose one it will automatically sweep through 35 to 45 with one uh, step width and calculate all the results according to this parameter here I have done this simulation for you before this video we can see that here I have changed antenna X parameter from 39 to 45 and we can see how our S11 parameter changes. Our S11 parameter is simply shows the reflected power that we inject from port 1 and it says that where our antenna works. We can see that at, as we increase the parameter, our working frequency changes from 2.4 and decreases. And we can choose here our best parameter to be uh, 5. This uh, 5. Then, after choosing our antenna parameters, uh, we will choose the width of the our micro strip line. And sorry for the delay. And we can calculate this from the macros from again our home. And we choose const calculate calculate antical line impedance and choose thin micro strip. Uh, and here we again. 2. Uh, inset 2.4 our height is 1.5 and our epsilon is 4.08 we must include dispersion effects in our simulation and uh, if we click calculate it calculates the impedance of our antenna we see that it's 33 we want for it to be 50 ohms to be matched with our waveguide port and we can change uh, omega parameter for it to be 30x if we uh, 0.2.9 uh, 
uh, and we can see that it changes parameter and we see that in our design it is 2.98 and if we choose this uh, width here we can see that our we can see that our uh, impedance will be around uh, 50 ohms as you can see from here after choosing this uh, parameter we must choose inset height and width so uh, for beginning we, we can choose inset width to be same as our transmission line width and by choosing parameter sweep uh, we can sweep uh, its width and see what is the best parameter for our design here again i simulated the parameters after we chosen uh, 3d run id to be 5 we changed inset x parameter and we can see that by changing inset x from 1 to 2 we can see how our parameter changes. We simply uh, click on shift and see the result. We can see that as our parameter increases, uh, our speed parameter goes down. Uh, we want uh, our S1 parameter to be as low as possible on 2.44 uh, gigahertz. And here, uh, our best parameter set is 1.5 for our inset x 30.2 in for antenna y and 41 for antenna x we can see that um, there are very close to this calculator uh, results and uh, as a next step we want to uh, find our find our inset y parameter so again we click parameter sweep uh, choose uh, parameters as we can see that uh, I choose 7 to 8 with step width of 0 0.5 and click start and if I click start it will calculate all the parameters and we can again see the results and you can see that as I increase the inset y from 7 to uh, 8 our S1 pump parameter goes down and as we increase we see that the best results for our antenna uh, to work is 8 here so uh, as a result for designing 2.4 gigahertz micro strip patch antenna you can use macros uh, for calculating impedance and use also uh, this wizard to create a waveguide port for our antenna simulation and use this site and other sites for calculating width and the height of our patch antenna so hope that this will help you in your projects and you can find my project uh, as the description under this youtube video see you on the next video have a night have a good night.